What is up, beautiful people? How y'all doing? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Um, Welcome to our vlog. Me and my wife, we are on day seven of our uh, fast, our seven-day fast. We're going to sit here and do it. Okay. Um, we decided what we wanted to do to open this vlog up is to uh, talk to y'all about our experience and just maybe different insights we gained uh, while doing it, as well as um, maybe what we want to try out in the future. So, babe, what, how would you say your experience was on a seven-day fast? Um, my experience overall was good. I did have moments where, um, just say for instance, um, I experienced headaches. But I believe that's because in the past I have had migraines. So I think it was something that was clearing up. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, I think anytime you do something like this, if there were issues that you were having, you should notice that those things improve. That's so true. I actually noticed that that and my post nasal drip and my cough um, all improved. Yes, I definitely want to just put emphasis on the improvement on her post nasal drip. Like the sinus drainage, Carla, it had got like bad. And um, we were figuring it had to do something with our diet. And it just confirmed it when we stopped eating. And we have an idea of what it is. What you think it is? Um, I think it's dairy. I'm not sure if that's all it is. But yeah. I do think that that's one of the main culprits. Yep. And then reading the book, um, The Mucusless Diet, has helped a lot. Yeah. Um, so, for me, I noticed... Did you tell me your sleep got better, too? Um, <laughs> My sleep has gotten better. No, I didn't tell them that. Yes, y'all. Her sleep... Like, Carla sleeps so quiet and still now. Like, she's not tossing and turning. She's not coughing up you know coughing or anything and she's so quiet that occasionally throughout the night i would actually have to touch her lightly just to make sure she good like she good because <laughs> i'm not used to her sleeping so quiet yeah i sleep very light and even when nick touch me i'd be like huh <laughs> yeah yeah so if she already sleep light it you can only imagine how it was disrupting her sleep yeah with the uh the post nasal drip and stuff so I'm really happy about that. Um, now for me, my experience. So this was actually my first time doing a juice fast, like where you're just juicing. And I know originally I said that I was going to juice for four days and then I was going to fast the remainder, the remaining three days with just straight up water. And then of course taking our sea moss. Now, um, what I noticed during the first four days of doing the juicing, I had so much energy so much more energy than when because we fasted seven days before the last time we fast seven days we just did straight up water yeah and by the end of the seven days y'all i was felt so weak and look i felt so lethargic i could barely stand up for long periods of time but this fast we were able to work out yeah i know we got our boot camp monday wednesday and friday um we were able to move around we were able to still work and like, you know, do certain things. Cause last time we didn't even work or anything. We just kind of almost stayed still, you yeah. know, which was cool too, because we were able to meditate and, and do all that stuff. But it, it was just different this time. So after I did my four days, I had a change of mind. I was like, mm, this, I'm really enjoying the energy I have. I'm enjoying working out. I'm enjoying working and having my energy and getting things done. Um, so, and based off of what we read in the book and the mucusless diet, uh, what did he say about people who do straight up, how <laughs> bunny isn't here, straight up water fast? Uh, I can't remember how he worded it. I will actually have to look at it in my phone cause I, I did a screenshot of it, but it's almost like he was saying that they are trying to rush the process just in a short form that's what he was saying he said he believed people that do water fast they're trying to rush the process and it's too aggressive so. yeah so not necessarily saying that hey stop doing your water fast all i'm saying is this go round after i read that and i was also thinking about the amount of energy and stuff i had for the remaining three days rather than going straight water which today i haven't had any juice so i may not juice at all today but so far, um, I've been juicing the entire three days, and this hasn't been a lot of juice. 
And it's like you still, with juicing, you still get the benefits of fasting. It's just, in my opinion, you have more energy. And plus, you're putting nutrients and stuff in your body that you get from the different fruits and vegetables. Yeah, oh, but don't forget, we did have a day, and both of us experienced this, yeah. where we felt weak. That was day five. That was day five. And we was like... That was a day after we had worked out, doing a full body workout, too. Yeah. Was, and so it kind of made us um, feel like, dang, like we really feel weak. We was trying to like drink our tea, trying to do things to like get our energy up. And I think that was when I first did the lemon water. Yep. And um, that kind of helped. So we did notice that we had a day that we was really weak. And then I want to say the next morning, I still felt a little weak, but we actually made the decision not to work out Friday. So it's important to listen to your body. Yeah, so we did not work out Friday. We used to work out Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Yeah. Fridays, we didn't go, which I actually felt like, like after day five, um, the next day, a burst of energy came back. And I was like, I low-key feel like I could work out today if I wanted to, but I ended up working late, so... I just was like, we just still gonna chill out. Mm -hmm. um, so now, as far as different insights that I gained, other than what we said, um, I did a lot of research on um, cooking and, and just food. Yeah. And usually, it's crazy, I could notice a change because usually when we go on our fast, we'll find ourselves towards the end sitting down watching mukbangs of people eating like terrible. Yeah. But I noticed this go round was different. I wasn't watching mukbangs. I wasn't watching, and I wasn't watching like unhealthy food videos. I was watching a lot of people cooking their stuff from scratch, like from the, I'll just say from the ground up. Like simple things, like even like down to peanut butter and, and making their own jelly and making their own mayonnaise, plant based mayonnaise, making their own plant based uh, bread, just stuff like that. And it just really got me thinking of a few things that I want to experiment this go round. Um, so as far as our diet moving forward, we're not stuck to one thing. However, uh, we've made the decision that we want to eat as mucusless as possible, especially starting off. Yeah. And um, we didn't put any time limits. Of course, me, my brain, the way it works, I try to put a time limit on it. But Carla was like, no, let's just relax let's just go with the flow and let's not put too much pressure on ourselves yeah just take it one day at a time yeah so um i came up with this idea because i've just been thinking 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 and then also watching different recipes as y'all know i like to cook and y'all have hooked us up with so many different cooking of like appliances and utensils it's kind of like why not get in the kitchen and play around with this shit and see what you can come up with yeah because i feel like every time we go on a fast we're able to sit down, reflect on our diet, reflect on self-love, things we've been doing to ourselves. And we, when we come out of it, we're always able to switch things up. Another thing that we reflect on is how did we get here? Like we were doing good when we came off of our fast. What triggered us Yeah, and got us back to, not back, because we don't let ourselves go fully back before we do another reset if we need to. And then, like, what are things that we can uh, implement into our life to where it makes sense and it's not too much pressure? So, um, I, what I said, told Carla, what I presented to Carla, because I came up with the idea and then Carla will help me think and work through it. That's how our team is. Um, I was like, what if we come up with a meal plan for the week? And we cook our shit. We cook our stuff. Like everything we make, we, we, we cook it. And like, for example, when we break our fast tomorrow, uh, one of the things that we're going to break our fast with, besides fresh fruit, which we look forward to. You look forward to eating fresh fruit? Yes. Yeah, we are eating uh, in-season fruit is, um, uh, what is it? Sakuma Wiki, which is essentially, it's collard greens. But it's like, the collard greens is cooked in a different way. It's cooked in a way that I think in Kenya, Africa, I think that's how they make their greens. And I just fell in love with it years ago. Yeah. And I, I asked Carla if she wanted to make it. Is that your phone or mine? It's oh. food. I don't yeah. So, um, and in the Sakuma Wiki recipe, you need tomatoes. So I was like, okay, well, what, what else can we make with tomatoes? And my wife, she said, well, we can make a salad, a kale salad, 
because we're always going to have kale because we're going to be juicing. It's kind of like that. You take different pieces and put them together. And then I want to experiment with cooking certain things. Like, uh, what were some of the crazy things I have on the list? You remember? Um... Cause we making the kale. Uh, you making the mayo? Oh, mayo from the scratch. Peanut butter. You're peanut butter. The, you're and making the tortilla wraps. Spelt wraps. Yeah. Uh, which spelt flour is a uh, Dr. Sabi approved uh, flour. So we're gonna play. Not saying we're always gonna eat spelt flour. It's just saying like starting off, we want to try to keep it as mucusless as possible. Again, y'all, we taking it one day at a time. Yes, and. I don't know, y'all. I don't want to take you out to the grocery store with us um, because I just want to focus on grocery shopping. There's a lot of ingredients I need. Mm -hmm. um, and plus, I want to focus my energy on that. Bless you. Ooh, so, I want to leave y'all here. And I guess the next time y'all see us, I don't know, it'll be something with food. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is basically a huge online community where you can learn pretty much any skill you can think of. We get a lot of questions from how to edit videos, how to start an LLC, how to graphic design and there are so many classes that can teach you everything you need to know so no matter what your skill level is there is something for everyone a class i really enjoyed was going freelance building and branding your own success taught by justin gignac justin mentions the fact that we live in a freelance world more than ever and teaches the essentials on how to seek out the work you want and draw back work to you as a full-time entrepreneur once you master some of the things he's mentioned and perhaps take other classes and bet on yourself, it can elevate your business. And if you have the desire, leave or take a break from those nine to fives like we did. The first 1,000 people to use our link in the description or pinned at the top of our comment section, you will receive one month unlimited access for free. Again, business classes, finance classes, self-improvement classes, pretty much anything. And now more than ever, knowledge is power. So if you're ready to start learning that skill you've always wanted to, click the link, sign up, and get started today. What's up, beautiful people? My baby over there looking at a recipe, honey, for this Akuma Wiki. Hey, y'all, today is day eight the last day where we're about to eat um i am about to turn on the lights in the kitchen i'm about to put some type of fruit in my mouth maybe orange yes So last night when I made it home, I attempted to make some of my nut butters and I learned a very, very important lesson because I had also purchased a blender yesterday, but the blender was not what I needed to make nut butter. So I am taking, returning that tomorrow, <laughs> that blender. Um, and I actually went on, oh, it's Bunny, hey Bunny. Hey there, baby. Can you sing like you in a good mood? Um, I am. I've ordered a Vitamix um, from Amazon. So that should be here by the end of the week. And then I'll get a chance to uh, try and make my nut butters again. But this is what I have so far. This is what I have. Let me show y'all. It actually reminded me of, uh, well, just as far as the jellies. How my grandma used to... Uh, make her own strawberry preserve or pear preserve. This right here, this was the best I could do with what I had. It's uh, peanut butter. It's just, it's really thick. If y'all have any ideas on how I can maybe thin it out um, without having a Vitamix or with just what I have or I don't know, let me know. Carla says she's gonna try to eat it with celery, with a celery stick. And then this right here is a hazelnut spread, just three ingredients. Roasted hazelnuts. Um, what else did I put in? Uh, cacao powder and uh, raw cane sugar. That's all I needed. If I had the Vitamix, this stuff would have been super thin. So if y'all have any ideas, um, 
let me know. But it was so easy to make. It's just I need the prop, the proper tools. Um, very proud of that. That was very fun to do that last night. Got a lot of fun ingredients. I had uh, dropped Carla off and ended up going to the Asian store by myself, y'all. I felt like I was in a play store. I had bought so many different things. I found this little wasabi powder, which I thought would be pretty dope, as well as this fritikake. Yes, rice seasoning is so good. Only thing is, I'm low-key allergic to it, but I still eat it, y'all. Don't tell nobody shit. And then I got some more of this. This for later down the line. I'm not going to just rush into eating this stuff. But, you know, you at the Asian store, you find some stuff, go get it. So, let's see. I guess I'll peel my first orange. Right, y'all, back to eating. Mmm. I know we've been drinking juices, but yeah, that's a really good orange. Or things are just a bit sweeter, but I know I've been juicing. All right. Uh-oh, baby. Uh-oh. Hey, let me get some of that orange. Let me get some of that orange. I smell it. Let me get some of that orange. I don't know if I want to give you an orange. But why not? What about a carrot? Uh, no. Mm-mm. 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 Mm-mm.
Oof, I guess she just did it right after that. That donkey kick. I bet you she didn't touch me no more. She went and got my doctor and he didn't even hurt me. Oof. That's how I know she wasn't doing it right. Our women ain't uh, sensitive to touching women. Huh? I know. Seems like you'll be more sensitive. But she was in training, but still. Still. Couldn't imagine doing some of the stuff she had to do. Maybe she thinks her tuck with whom been ran through. Ooh. <laughs> he right behind you. I know. He's right here. He ain't leaving. Honey. Hey, you could. What's up? Can rabbits eat tomatoes? Tomato is considered safe for rabbits if given Girl, an operation. Stop. However, you should always check with your veterinarian before feeding your pet see. any new foods. Yeah, I heard it. I can eat tomatoes. Don't pass one down. He has been getting too much here lately, and I can't take it. He's just been really? getting variety. No. He had right. a cu cucumber for the first time. He had a... Uh, yeah, I told Nick, just because she can't eat don't mean she's supposed to be feeding Bun Bun. Because that's what she would do. And I can tell she knew she wasn't supposed to be doing it. Because what she'll do is she'll look to see if I'm looking first. And I caught that ass a couple of times. Let her eat my to me. Let her eat my to me. I can't give you no tomato right now, boy. I'm going to have to try to catch you later, boy. Mm. Hey, don't, don't forget about me. That ain't supposed to be good. Don't forget about me. It didn't even take you that long to make it. No. Mm. Take your time. Yes. Y'all, I know this may be TMI, but after I ate the orange, <laughs> I went to the restroom and I uh, used the bathroom. I thought that was interesting. Mm, this, is this is so good. It's bursting with flavor. The greens are crunchy. I like it. Mm. So then I guess after I eat, I'll make these uh, spelt tortillas. Make enough to last us throughout the week. And um, I think that's going to be it. I, I wanted to make my mayonnaise, but I'm going to wait until my blender come at the end of the week. So, well, and my eggs. I need my, my Vitamix. Mm, mm, mm. In the seconds? Damn. And that was half the bag, so it really is two servings. Mm. That's good. So, this, we might end up eating all the greens today, huh? Maybe. Yeah, because I'm going some more later.